In the weeks that followed the encounter with the witch in the woods, I couldn't shake the feeling of unease. My friends thought I was just rattled by the creepy experience, but I knew deep down that there was more to it. I delved into books about witchcraft and ancient rituals, hoping to find answers. One evening, while poring over ancient texts in my parents' study, I stumbled upon a passage that hinted at a way to change witches into benevolent beings. According to the old texts, a child with a pure heart and strong will could find a way to communicate with the witches and make peace with them. I thought about a little kid named Joey, a bright and innocent boy from the nearby town. He was known for his kindness and compassion, and it seemed like he could be the key to making things right with the witches of Kankakee. With the knowledge from the ancient texts in hand, I sought out Joey and told him about the strange occurrences in the woods. He listened intently, his eyes wide with wonder and fear. But instead of feeling scared, he looked determined. Joey agreed to help, and together, we ventured into the woods one last time, carrying with us an assortment of offerings, fruits, flowers, and symbols of goodwill. As we walked deeper into the forest, we could feel the energy around us shift, as if the spirits were taking notice of our presence. When we finally reached a spot where I had encountered the witch, we laid out the offerings carefully, and Joey spoke with a soft and earnest voice. He addressed the spirits, acknowledging their existence and their power, and he asked them to hear his plea for peace and understanding. At first, there was only silence, but then the air seemed to shimmer with a mysterious aura. The forest around us seemed to come alive, and we felt another worldly presence enveloping us. Joey's words resonated with sincerity, and we could sense that the witches were paying attention. Suddenly, we heard whispers in the wind, faint at first, but gradually growing louder. The witches spoke to us, their voices and ethereal and ancient. They explained that they had once been benevolent protectors of the woods but had turned bitter and vengeful due to the evil acts of humans. They had lost trust in humanity and had withdrawn into darkness. Joey expressed his sorrow for the wrongs done by humans and vowed to show the witches that not all of us were bad. He promised to be a beacon of light and kindness, hoping to restore their faith in humanity. In that moment, something miraculous happened. The forest seemed to come alive with a burst of ethereal light, and the witches appeared before us. Their once terrifying forms now glowed with an aura of peace and acceptance. They thanked Joey for his sincerity and agreed to grant his request. From that day on, the witches of Kankakee began to change. They still retain their powers and mystique, but they no longer sought vengeance. Instead, they embraced their role as guardians of the woods, protecting nature and guiding lost travelers to safety. The town of Kankakee became a place of legends, where people spoke of the spiritual notes who watched over them and blessed the land. Life was better, and the curse that had plagued the town was finally lifted. But as the years passed, something strange began to happen. Joey, who had brought peace to the witches, started to change. He became withdrawn and isolated, shunning his old friends and family. Rumors spread, and people started to whisper about a dark presence taking hold of him. Eventually, Joey disappeared entirely, and the town was once again under the shadow of darkness. The boy who had only wanted to change the witches for the better had unwittingly become the devil of Bird Bay. The moral of the story was clear. Be careful what you wish for, for even the purest intentions can have unintended consequences. The spirits of the woods taught us that true change must come from within and that goodness can be found in even the darkest corners of our hearts. As the years passed, the legend of Joey and the witches continued to echo through the town of Kankakee. <laughs>